Hey folks, this is Everyone Loves Pirates, and we're trying this for the third time actually because it keeps crashing, but uh, I'm playing a multiplayer Crusader Kings 2 game with Aniko. Say hi. Hello. And I am over here in Sweden. We are both Vikings. I am Bjorn of Chust, or to just or whatever you want to say. And who are you? I am Sophia of Vestmanaland. Very nice. You also have Jean Berland as well. Yeah. And we are both under our liege here. Uh, also, don't Bjorn. Don't like very much. No, he's a horrible, horrible man. And I just got a marriage. Yeah, I totally just proposed to you while you were talking over me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I accept your marriage. People respect wealth, I think. Maybe. Sometimes. I went for the prestige. Okay, I'm gonna do a do a thing as soon as we're married. I'm gonna pick a new ambition and probably crash the game. Hopefully not. That's where we kept on. So do the I want to become the Queen of Sweden? It allows her the unlimited use of the subjugation cases belli within the kingdom. Yep. Definitely a good thing to choose. However, you can never cancel it. So it uh, might be worthwhile uh, choosing anything else you might want to do first. Do so. I want to be... Well, I could become... Like, at, like become a marshal. And then you put me on your council. Does that not work? Well, right now we're equal, so... Oh, so I have to be on y'all's council. I, I believe you would need to be a vassal of mine. I actually have nobody appointed to any of my positions. I want to have a daughter. Yes, yes, there I want go. to have a daughter. Also, I chose I the like, ambition to have a son. <laughs> like going hunting. Yeah, that's a good thing to point out. You, we both chose our focuses. You chose hunting, right? Yeah. So, so I now have a husband. And I chose carousing because I haven't done it before and it sounds like fun. Oh, half the skill values of the spouse are added to those of a ruler for purposes of government. So we should probably set up our council, shouldn't we? We should definitely set up our council. Although everyone hates us. So that's a thing. I don't know. Most of my people are okay with me. Really? Mine are like minus 45. Huh. I don't know why. So what annoying thing that they've done recently... If I click on him, he's just going to go in there, isn't he? How come everyone likes you but nobody likes me? Oh, because I'm a high diplomacy character. <laughs> oh, because I am a horrible, horrible warrior woman. So how do, yeah. what, how do I even deal with this then? Um, do I just not appoint people? Well, you're going to have to appoint them. So you're going to want to do things like give them honorary titles, uh, maybe send them gifts, really? or maybe just not appoint somebody. That's quite possible. Which one is the diplomacy guy? I should get a diplomacy guy and then just not get the rest. Or a spy master maybe too as well. Yeah, you definitely always want the spy master to like you. That's very dangerous having a spy master who oh. doesn't. Well, but everyone Chancellor hates your, me. Chancellor is your diplomacy guy. Like literally everyone hates me. <laughs> you can give him some money or... Yeah. Who hates me the least? Everyone hates me just as much. Okay, so I'm good. I, what do I, can I grant him a landed title? What does that mean? Honorary title? What does that mean? You'd want to do an honorary title. Landed title will give him some land until you lose some of yours. An honorary title is going to kind of, uh, depending on which one you choose, give him a opinion boost of up to 20, I think. If you I can make him the law boost. speaker. Yeah, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Yeah, law speaker is 20. Okay, and then but I need to bribe him. And over time, the uh, the short reign will go down. He wants half my gold. Yeah, bribing at this point might be a little expensive. I bribed him. It's too late. And I don't have a spy master because I basically can't afford one. Unless I can give him two titles. You can only give him one honorary title. Okay, so... I can't get them to like me then. Yeah, it might be wise not to have 
the spy. Well, I don't know. You might need a spy mask. No one likes you even a little bit, huh? No, they're they're all like minus forty five. I don't know why. Um. Oh, because it's, I'm it's... gay and I'm cruel. Oh yeah, yeah. That would those would both do I it. I am a cruel lesbian. <laughs> Um, also, um, your diplomacy, your personal diplomacy score is pretty low. Yeah. At four, so they're actually probably getting negative modifiers from you, that. You would think that they would like me better because you're, like, so lovable. Yeah, so actually, this might, this could possibly help. I've never done carousing before, but I'm going to invite you to go carousing. <laughs> okay. We'll have a private feast, apparently. Um, so when the game starts back up, we'll have I'll that. I'll bring the deer. It, it might give you a chance to uh, to change something. Wow, she hates me a lot. So unfortunately, under your council, when you pick members for your council, you, you can't mouse over their opinion anymore within this window for some reason. Oh, she's Christian, that's why. Okay, she's Catholic. Um... So I need a spy master real quick. Can you lend me some gold? <laughs> I probably could, yeah. Let's see. How does that work? Can I can you send you a gift? gift. I can give you, yeah, I can give you 20. Oh, thank God. Did, it, did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Everyone hates me, but I have money now. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. I um, need who a has good spy intrigue? Spy master. Ivar. Oh, I actually should look at that trade, shouldn't I? Or should I just pick the best one? I'd pick a good one that will like you the most. They all hate me. Yeah. I'll just but pick the one the who likes one. you the most. The best one who hates me the least. I will give him an honorary title. Um, you can be a herdman. Are you good? good at battle? He is good at battle. That's amazing. Nice. So he can be a herdman. I don't know what that means. It's only 10, but if I send him a gift... Actually, let's send him the gift first. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, be a herdman. There. Now I have a council that doesn't completely hate my guts. Just kind of mostly. He has like a, a level of 14. Not bad. As long as it's green. Green means Yeah, I'm looking good. I'm looking at your your court. It's it's pretty bad. Yes, I can't afford to have any other <laughs> counselors. A message about a point commander has been received. Oh, okay. Well, would you like to Do you want to make me the who? The Yarl wants to make me commander. Yeah. Do I want to be a commander? Sure, actually. Oh, you already chose. You probably can't change your. Yeah, you can't change your ambition right away. I was going to say you could just change to want to become commander. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing. Actually, be on his court will allow you possibly to. Kill him. Have, yeah, you'll have at least more power and stuff if it came to um, there being some sort of. Uh, I guess. Something. Yeah. I guess he um, recognizes my amazing martial skill of, yeah. like, 21 boosted by you. <laughs> he's probably looking just at your personal martial skill. So the 17 is probably what he's looking at. Oh, okay. Well, that's still re really good. Which will also go up to well, go up to 18 when so that wound So now I'm on his council or something? How do I see his council? Uh, it's hard to actually see exactly what his council is. You can go, you can click on him. Oh, you and can click, click on his court. On his court, yeah. And anyone who has a sword so. next to them is leading troops, and if they have a hammer next to them, they're doing something for him. But I thought I was in there. I'm not uh, in there. Since you're also a ruler, you I'm probably have actually gone to his court until he act until he uses you for something, which he'll probably use you to either train troops or to. Um, lead armies. Or <clears throat> okay, well that's fine. I apologize to any viewers <laughs> of Everyone Loves Pirates who are not used to people being quite so noob as me. Hey, it's 
it's fine. It's a good way to learn, and I'm probably going to forget a lot of stuff about this game as well because it's been a while. So I assume you've been doing stuff while I've been trying to figure out what the hell to do. Yeah, I got my council set up. Um, I've been looking at a <coughs> few different things, but if you're ready, we can get this going. Well, what, what else do I do besides set up a council? Well, you've already picked your focus, which is good. You have your ambition. Uh -huh. uh, I was just kind of looking at my court to see who liked me, stuff like that. Um, allies, two of my us are allies. court hates me, so... Uh, we have no... Uh, I have no friends or family or anything. So... But there is someone else who likes me. Oh, wait, that's me. I like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could potentially go to, like, your intrigue town... <clears throat> tab yeah and invite someone to court through here it'll basically just spawn a new new character um, and that person may like you more than some of the other characters but maybe not how do I do that it's um, it's I can a little only kill people it's a little knife and letter thing and then under decisions um, if you scroll down yeah there's uh, invite basically Noble to court or yeah that's one it uses goal either that I don't have. IT or prestige. So can't you tell them to like me? Unfortunately, no. We are we may be married, but we're still separate rulers. Ugh. So they don't really care about what I have to say. What goody. Okay, so um do I build stuff <laughs> in my in my holdings? Do I build a holding? Um no uh there's really probably not anything worth building right now because it's going to cost uh, either a lot of prestige or a lot of money. Okay. Well, so I'll I say, just follow your lead. Yeah, I got. we'll have a go at speed one right now. Um, let's look and see what we have military-wise. I have... Ooh, I have boats. Do you have boats? I. How do I... Click on your military tab. It's... Oh, uh, hang on. Someone is inviting me. Oh, that's you. Of course I will come. Oh, I have a military tab. Okay. Yeah. So, so the shortcut is F6. I, and I have 17 boats, apparently. Ooh. Okay. Do we want to do that? So he wants to bump up organization. It's probably not a bad thing. So let's see. It's only low tribal, which I remember yeah. gives us still pretty much a lot of power. Yeah, I'll approve it. That's fine. Okay. I will just vote as you tell me to. <laughs> just call me when we need someone's face bashed in. You can always look at your plots that you have available, see if there's anybody worth killing, but probably not at this point. Yeah, so I have like 926 or something army levies and like 17 boats. Right. Good. So if you have boats and levies, what we could do is we always just go raiding, and that'll bump up our prestige and get us money as well. Uh, you can do, also how use. How do I do that? I don't know. Um, there we go. It has been Good done. Good job, y'all. So you can click on uh, your province that's on the sea, probably right there, and use the the boat with the arrow symbol there to raise your boats. They do cost usually quite a bit of money when they're raised. Okay, I have. Do I need all seventeen boats? Uh, it depends on how many guys you're going to take. So I wouldn't bring any more boats, probably, than um, how much of an army you raise. Uh, basically, one boat can hold 100 people. Uh, but when I pushed a button, it raised all 17. Right. So what you can do from there is you should be able to... I think you should be able to split them off. It's been a while. Maybe oh, not. Uh, split off special troops? No, I can't. No, I think I, you gotta keep them together. I have to use all of them. Okay, and then I raise the army levy. I yep. Think. And when you raise your your levy, what you're gonna want to do um, is mark them as raiders if you want them to raid before you leave your land, or else you won't be able to make let them raid. They is won't. Is that raid. toggle looter? Yeah. Toggle okay. looter. So these are raiders. Someone is is leading it, which is not me. Someone's looting? Someone is leading it. Someone oh. who is not me. Maybe it's because I did it in West Manorland. Maybe I'm not in West Manorland. Okay, so <laughs> then how do I get them in the boats? I just got a point as Chancellor. Oh, okay. Good job. 
So you put them in the in the area where the boats is, and you're yeah. and um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember actually. Oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> if they're there and you click on the army, you can. Uh, there's an embark army button. Oh my god, this is like embark army. They yeah. have a very bad leader, but that's fine. I see. I take the prestige. I just became humble. So where are we raiding then, Swami? Or are we raiding south? So, yeah, that's a, we need to raid in places where. Are those boats yours near um, Shell? Mine are by Juiced. Oh, I'm coming to so, Juiced then. If you click on. Hey, we're gonna start carousing. Yay, carousing! If you click on a province, let's say just to the uh, the east there, um, Sumai, whatever that is, uh, you'll see that there is a wall. Like if you if you click on it, it'll show you uh, the person who owns it, and then you'll see this loot bar. And there's also like a little. Um, apparently, I'm dying now. I just gained stress. I I I fell ill. Ooh. This might be a short playthrough. Yeah, apparently. I don't even have an air. Yeah, you need to get on that. <laughs> you sent me a puppy. Did I? Yeah. It says it will grow into a great hunting dog. Huh. Your new puppy has no name yet. What will you call it? Faithful, Hunter, Tricky, or Fenrir? Fenrir, obviously. Duh. Oh, that's part of your hunter thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't... I didn't die. I am not dead. Okay, so click on Swomi. Well, I got 20 prestige from our carousing. Look, just just sell your boat somewhere and I will follow you. That's... I'm in the Sea of Aland. So just right next to Upland there. Oh, I came down and then you went up. Yeah. But do we want to raid the other... Scandinavians, aren't we like all backward savages with no money? I'm I'm rating uh, Su Sumi here. He's uh, he's Sumanusko in Swami. Finnish. Somi. Yeah, Swomi. Swomi. I don't know how you pronounce that. So hopefully he doesn't have a huge army. Do I just click on there, right click. Does that disembark my dudes? Yep. So they'll slowly walk over. And actually, the two of us error? together could probably burn this place down. Is that supposed to be an arrow or something? Yeah, if you select... Um, I can see yours walking, but if you oh, kind of... Oh, okay. See yeah. I have to select the dudes. Okay, now we're there. Mm. Now what? Unfortunately, it's not allowing us to, like, put our forces together. Mm -hmm. So we're both kind of looting the same stuff. So we probably want to go to different places then. <laughs> If you head over to the right to um, Usima, yeah. there's a lot of gold there. Okay, but my force is relatively weak. It should oh. be all right. I am already pregnant. That was Yay! Fast. Well, both of us wanting to have kids made you super fertile. Apparently. Still gay, <laughs> though. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it still works. Okay, so going there is going to take for. I'm kind of annoyed that, like, I can't lead those troops that I did. You should be able to. The guy who's leading is, like, martial skill 5. While you're moving your troops. Yeah. Click on. Uh, yeah, click on. Just right above. Resign you should or something? Be able to switch it. Do I have to resign him? I just clicked on the guy's name and I put myself in charge. I can't put myself in charge. Oh, you know what? You're probably, since you're the marshal for our liege, he's probably using you somewhere else. Oh, really? Yeah. He uh, has you leading troops in Dunbar. For the love of God. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, you didn't have much this of a choice. This is why we want to get rid of him. <laughs> well, let's look at him. Oh, I'd rather not. Let's see. They make it easier to tell how many troops he has? Probably not. Oh, there we go. 
So he has 634 army levies. Yeah, he's lost a lot of troops. Should, should I just get my raiders back or something? Yeah, we can go faster too since it's taking forever to walk if you want. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's go to speed. Okay, I'm, I'm doing a thing now in Usumia. So, here, I'm, you need to bring your boats over into the Gulf of Finland or else you won't get the loot. Oh. Well, that's nice. Sorry, I should have warned you about that earlier. But they have like 450 garrison and 418 levy. So aren't they not just going to completely destroy me? Well, he's he's only right now able to raise those 212 up in Haim. Um. Okay, so those might come and attack me. Yeah, so the garrison can't come out. He could raise his levy immediately, um, but that would probably not work out great for him. So. so I am attacking him now. Yeah, so you're slowly whittling away that loot bar, and it'll go all the way down to where the uh, the wall is. I gained prestige from my dog. And then if you want the rest of the loot that's there, you'd have to burn it down, which means you'd have to have forces big enough to, to siege him, which you probably don't. I have no idea any of what you're saying. What is this about a wall? So if you click on the province, you'll yeah. see a yellow loot bar, and it shows how much gold is there, basically. It'll say like 5.0 right now, because you're slowly taking it. There's a little kind of wall on that bar, this little kind of gray line that shows you how much you can get until you hit the fortress walls. And then from there on, you'd have to basically... I don't see, see any of that. I will, I will be completely honest with you. Do I have to no, not attempt at assault holding? That is bad. No. So if you... Uh, oh, it may be different. Um, there's a little... At the bottom right of kind of the papery thing, there's a um, like an arrow. You can click to switch the view. Uh, <laughs> I am so confused. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember off the top of my head because I'm not actually. Uh, Economy. Nice. If you click on the province, where it shows basically you're sieging him and all that on, yeah. on to the right of that on that screen, the kind of like, I to me, I think it's going to be a paper kind of background. There's an arrow, kind of like a, I think there's a double arrow or something on the bottom right corner. It'll oh, suit toggle view. siege view? There you go. Okay, now now I has monies. Now you should see the loot bar and all that stuff. I think the loot bar is down to where it's protected by the fort. So yes, So now it I is. have to leave. Yep. So I get into my little boats. I had a daughter. Nice. That is amazing. So you got your ambition. Are we going to call that Ingrid? Whatever you like, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I like being in charge. She said while having no clue what the hell she's doing. <laughs> so I have to go all the way back to this place. Yeah, so if you go back to your home province, you'll drop off the loot that you got, and you'll gain that much money and that much prestige as if well. I can't just disband everything. No, you definitely want to put your, your boats into port. Okay, so um, the Yarl, you said that he's actually quite weak right now? Yeah, just him. He'll bring in his vassals and any of his allies as well if we attacked him directly. However, we could start a faction. Yeah, I was about to say, can't we do a faction thingy? So, okay, my... I just started an independence faction. I think my guys are back home now, maybe? No, they're not. Uh, yes. I have gained eight gold. So, you'll either want to keep on raiding, or you'll want to disband your troops and your boats so you're not paying for them. Yeah, I'll do that. I did that, I think. So if you go to Factions, which is on this the last little button on the upper left, or you can hit F8 for the shortcut, uh -huh. you'll see that I started an Independence Faction. Oh, cool. Join and Faction. Like to, you can join that. I've joined your Faction. And, the, and actually, I'm going to pause real quick, because despite actually setting up our councils, I don't think we told our council members to do anything. Oh. At least, <laughs> I didn't tell mine to do anything. 
So here's where we can maybe start getting people on our side as well. Oh, I need to improve diplomatic relations with my vassals, don't I? Um, yeah, if you have any. I actually don't have any vassals. You probably don't either. Oh, that, so my court are not my vassals? No. So there's a vassals tab next to that. So if you had any cities or something like that, um, any mayors, then that those would be your vassals that mm -hmm. you can with. So... Okay. So what we could, you could improve diplomatic relations with other people in the realm as well. Maybe some of these guys that we want to use, maybe to join our independence faction. Yeah, maybe that Neriki person between us. Yeah, let's see. He has 304 levy. The so guy. I'll put my diplomatic dude there. Okay, I will do the same. And we should recruit um, people to our faction? Yeah, I'm trying to, let's see, Spymaster do that? Yes. Okay, yes. so scheming will allow him to join our faction. So I will, I guess I might as well just scheme there as well. I am going to scheme in Sudaman land. Because reasons. Okay, that's our liege. But that will do stuff. Should I get a steward? I have like 29 gold so I can spend 20 and still have some gold and have a have a steward who doesn't hate my guts. Um to be honest, I wouldn't worry too much about the steward right now. Uh, it, it will he'll help you out a little bit, mm -hmm. but he won't he doesn't even have the ability to like collect taxes or anything. Uh, apparently the Norse. What about the marshal then? Marshals are usually pretty good to have. Okay, I'll get a marshal. Because you can have them training troops so you can get larger levy sizes and um, their marshal score will help your state marshal score. Okay, so the best I can do is a seven marshal. Basically, has a better intrigue than he does Marshall. Yeah, that's not. It's not great, but the other thing you could always do is you can go up to intrigue, and um, which one is it? Oh, promote, yeah, I need to promote. Promote commander will bring uh, someone who possibly will be good at that will fighting. Cost me prestige. Yeah. But that's or fine. you. Could, or you just bring any random guy and hope that he has a high marshal. A marshals. soldier named Toast is coming. All right. I probably need to unpause so he actually gets there, huh? I'll go oh, back wait. down to speed real quick. The Sons of Lodbrok invasion of Northumberland has ended. Okay, that's fine. Toast hates you, and he also has a horrible marshal score. <laughs> Great. That's amazing. The, what I usually end up doing for bringing people to court is I pick the thing I have the most of and I bring that person. So even if it's, if it's like a holy man or something, they'll just have random stats most of the time anyways. I'm going to look for a bear. What, what is the y'all doing with all his dudes there? Well, I wonder if he's going to attack me. I don't know. He's probably bringing troops uh, to go take him over to the British island. Isles. He's attacking a lot of people. And I am apparently attacking there with them. Yeah, he's in a few wars, actually. Oh, crap. Yeah, because if I, if I click on myself, it shows that I'm attacking a bunch of places. Okay, so I'm going to have a battle here. <laughs> I need to Wait, get... Wait, who is attacking you? I was raiding, and... Um, oh, did you yeah, get He decided to come attack. Um, Why were you raiding, then? Oh, there you are, I think. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. I just used my whole council, unfortunately, which means I don't have anyone to help me with this army. <laughs> well, good job. I got a guy well, with one martial score that'll be in charge of my flank, I guess. Hey, have you noticed, knock on wood, we haven't had a crash yet? That's great, yeah. Knock on wood, indeed. Um, yeah, I just don't know what the heck, what, what I'm doing in this game, so confusing. There's too much to do. I don't understand. 
Okay, let's see how this battle goes. I might die. Oh, well, my technology is really bad. Should I come save you or something? No, that's not going to work, is it? Um, well, if you started raiding him, you'd also be hostile to him. I'm not sure exactly how to work out. Yeah, I improved my martial skills while leading battle. You are not doing so well. I am not. You're losing, like, troops twice as fast as he is. Maybe you should run away. Never! Can I not move this? Interesting. Oh dear, there's a Finnish fleet approaching. That might be the... the people that I raided. What do I tell? Yeah, they're from Satakunta. Bring huh. it. Do, should I levy my troops before they get there, or does it not matter? He's actually uh, raiding our liege. Oh, so. well, that's fine. Well, it's not f like it's not fine, but how are they doing so well? Oh, because they have defensive stuff in their own lands, I think. Yeah, I think you actually attacked. Yeah, they have like a temple. Well, he attacked over that straight. Yeah, I lost some some dudes. Oh well, as long as you didn't die. Why am I attacking so many people? <laughs> y'all, Ivor the Boneless. Is that our <laughs> y'all? No, our, ours is Bjorn Ironside. That's a lot better than Ivor the Boneless. I've gotta, <laughs> gotta say. Well, actually, we're at um. We're at a little over 30 minutes right here, so this would be a great place to end episode one. I'm glad it worked without us crashing, crashing again. Yeah. yeah. And I just got a little prestige and stuff, but not probably not worth it from all the men I lost. Mm. There we go. Well, thanks a lot for watching, folks. Um, hopefully you like this series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It may be a little... Uh, <laughs> we may not know exactly what we're... <laughs> doing all yeah at first but uh, I, I'm excited I think this will be interesting at least because I've never played a multiplayer CK2 game before so um, but yeah I encourage you uh, go check out Aniko's uh, channel as well uh, I've covered uh, quite a few of her games and stuff and she's a great developer and yeah I'll, I'll put annotations to your channel like everywhere on the screen right now okay I've actually never done the annotation thing so I and my have subscribers start. get like a, a free new series now, unexpectedly. That oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. So yeah, check out her series. Um, also check out the um, the what was it? The Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe yeah, Train of thing. Thought. Your Train of Thought uh, deal because might I be like that game. Yeah, it might be something that your subscribers uh, would enjoy. Yeah, so check it out and. Um, yeah, let me know how much you like that game, because maybe uh, Nico and I can do a multiplayer of that as well at some point. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching, folks, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.